Good morning. It's Wednesday the 9th of September and this morning we were reading uh, 2 Samuel chapter 3 and 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and I wanted to look a wee bit more at 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Uh, as we uh, look at this, as we've gone through the book of 1 Corinthians, we've seen a few different references that these people uh, that Paul are write, is writing to, this church that Paul is writing to, love spiritual gifts. And they especially love kind of impressive spiritual gifts. And Paul's wanting to, to instruct them in two different ways about spiritual gifts in this chapter. And as we listen to his instruction of them, I think it instructs us as well. So the first thing that we have to notice is in verse 1, uh, Paul says, Follow the way of love and eagerly desire gifts of the Spirit, especially prophecy. He begins this chapter by saying, you are right to eagerly desire gifts, spiritual gifts. So they are, they are gifts from God to his people. And it is right that you should eagerly desire them. Keep doing that. And I think at least uh, myself and I think probably the church here in Yoker, we need to hear that. We need to hear that we probably need to eagerly desire the gifts of the Lord more that we want him to give us good gifts so that we can serve him. Which leads us to the, the second point. The second point is that the gifts that we should desire shouldn't be because they're impressive, shouldn't be because uh, they make us feel special, but the gifts that God gives are given so that the church can be built up. And so he says when you eagerly desire gifts, especially desire those gifts which will build up the church most. He says that at the end, especially prophecy. And he goes on in the rest of the chapter to explain why prophecy builds the church up so much better than tongues does. And then in verse 12, we read, So it is with you. Since you are eager for gifts of the Spirit, try to excel in those that build up the church. He says your main focus with these gifts should be the same focus that God has for these gifts, that they are given for the edification, the building up, the blessing of the church, that people would grow more into the likeness of Jesus, that people would love God more and serve him in all of their lives. See, the gifts are given for the building up of the church, so eagerly desire gifts and especially desire those that are going to build the church up best. Which finally just leaves us with a, a general view of the gifts that God has given us. We should be eager to receive gifts from the Spirit. And when we receive those gifts, we should be eager to use them, not for any self-gain at all, but for the good of the church and for the glory of God. So whether that is, is prophecy, being able to, to speak from Scripture uh, or speak from the wisdom of Scripture in such a way that people are challenged to live more in line with Jesus, whether that's tongues, whether that's hospitality, whether it's generosity, whatever the gift that God gives you and me, we're encouraged, even commanded here, to use it for the building up of his church. Let's pray together and ask for God's help in this. Father God, we thank you so much uh, for this chapter and the challenge that it gives us. Father, we ask your forgiveness that we don't uh, desire the gifts of the Spirit anywhere near as much as we should. Lord, please uh, build a, a real hunger in us that we should receive uh, all that you want to give to us. And Father, we ask that we would want this not for our own uh, gain, not so that we could be impressive or gain in any way, but that we would be able to use the gifts that you've given us for the building up of your church and for your glory. So we ask, Father, that we would eagerly desire uh, gifts from your Spirit and that we would especially desire those uh, which would build up your church most effectively. Father, we ask you these things. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I hope you have a good day. God bless.